Number 5. Bangar Fort, Rajasthan, India Located between Jaipur and Delhi, the Bangar Fort was built in the 17th century. It was built by one of the Navaratnas of the Mughal Empire's Emperor Akbar called Man Singh for his brother Madho Singh. They named the fort after their grandfather Ban Singh. The fort consists of Hindu temples, palaces, and havelis aka mansions. It is surrounded by walls with five gates called the Bud Bangla, which is the main gate, and four other gates called the Lahori Gate, the Ajmeri Gate, the Pulbari Gate, and the Delhi Gate. This place is open to public and is now a tourist spot, but there's a rule that the place will be closed off and is prohibited from entry at night, starting from sunset until sunrise. It is believed that spirits and the supernatural are free to roam the fort at night. There are two legends associated for the fort's haunting. The first one is a simple story of a holy man and his preference or warning. He warned that no buildings in the fort should have its shadow fall on his house, and if there was, the fort will be in ruins and so it did. The next legend is about a dark wizard who fell in impossible love with a princess. One day, the princess went shopping to buy some itar or essential oils. The wizard must have stalked her that he managed to set up a stall selling itar. The princess stopped by his stall and was presented with his all-new itar which was actually his very own concoction of love potion. But the princess found the wizard to be suspicious, and maybe because she was a princess, she didn't politely refuse, rather, she threw the itar away right in front of his eyes. This started a chain reaction that led to a boulder getting dislodged and that particular boulder fell right on top of the wizard. Anyways, right before the wizard died, he managed to curse the princess and Bangar to never be peaceful. Thus, the fort is now in its current state and the princess's spirit is believed to still be in the fort, trapped for all eternity. Number 4. Pasar Pute, Delhi Sai Tutong Highway, Brunei Rather than a building, this is a road in Brunei that has a natural rock formation of white sand, aka Pasar Pute, along the sides of the road. The sand is said to be fine silica sand that could be used for glass making, but the sand seemed to remain untouched even to this day. The area is like a desert with very few trees and shrubs. The road along the white sand formation is said to be haunted. Stories of cars suddenly breaking down in the middle of the night, stories of ghost-like apparitions seen flying about along the area, and even stories of how the road seems to be accident-prone. Stories of horror seems to be a common thing for the road that people believed it to be haunted. Most of the stories seem to have taken place after midnight and before 3 in the morning. Is that a coincidence? Maybe. Number 3. Nakagusku Hotel, Okinawa, Japan When you think of Okinawa, you think of beaches, summer, the beautiful sea. When you think of summer, you think of test of courage to explore a rumored haunted area and to walk through it without being scared to death. But saying this, the whole island itself are said by the locals to be a giant hotspot for ghosts. This might as well be true as the island has seen a lot of deaths throughout its history. Such as, during World War II, Okinawa was invaded by the Americans and well, we could say the amount of deaths was almost on par with the deaths from Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But rather than all getting killed, a lot of them have committed suicide. There's also the suicide cliffs where most people would jump off of, and also a cave where 17 nurses were said to have committed suicide with a grenade. Then there's the sightings of dark figures and weird sounds coming mostly from old military bases, and stories of ghosts from World War II could be heard throughout the island. But now to the main point, the Nakagusku Hotel. The hotel is an abandoned, unfinished hotel in Kitanakagusku, which is very close with the Nakagusku Castle. The story of the hotel goes like this. There was a businessman who planned to build a hotel there as the location is the best. It is very near to the Nakagusku castle and the ocean. But he was warned by the locals and monks that the land was sacred and it was the home of countless graves and tombs of restless souls. The businessman still continued with the project despite the warnings and things weren't going as smoothly as he planned. Workers were dying, some quit fearing their lives, and the rumor about the place is now cursed kept getting out of hand. So the businessman went bankrupt, leaving the building empty, abandoned, and unfinished. I find empty buildings are always scary if left abandoned for too long. Anyways, the place is now off limits and you couldn't explore it freely even if you wanted to. Number 2. Old Changi Hospital, Changi, Singapore 
It was a military hospital and had been closed since 1997. But the ghost sightings and stories were older than that. The oldest known story were from the 1940s, not long after the building was first built. It was built in 1935 by the British forces, but during the World War II Japanese invasion, it was later converted into a prison camp. This is when the building was where people were brutally tortured, kept alive, or killed. Thus, the eeriest and scariest place in the hospital is the mortuary and a specific room that people called the torture chamber. Many have reported sightings of dark shadowy figures or hearing screams and the sort. The common sightings and sounds you would expect from where torture and killing were practiced. Number 1. The Forbidden City, Beijing, China The Forbidden City was the imperial palace for six centuries from the Ming Dynasty to the end of the Qing Dynasty. It was the home for the royal family, their advisors, concubines, attendants, and guards. If you've never watched any Chinese imperial TV dramas or movies, you might not know this, but the royal family seemed to always want power. From the princes to the concubines to the empresses, even the ministers. And their goal was usually to be the head of the country, the king, the emperor. So bloodshed, slander, political intrigue, and deceit was technically a common thing in the Forbidden City. Killing secretly, kidnapping and changing them with the double, you know, pretty scary things. So it's not impossible, there are unsatisfied and restless spirits roaming about seeking revenge. Apparently, people have reported hearing music playing at night or apparitions of groups of ladies in waiting and even eunuchs walking along the halls or in the rooms. 